It's one minute. You ready? Yeah. Whatever. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the January 4th, 2023 meeting of the Hyde Park Planning Board. Um, before I go on, I want to first thank the town board for reappointing me as chair and also, more importantly, reappointing Chris Oliver, one of our vice chairs, to new seven year term. Thank and you. thank Chris for agreeing to serve again. Please take note of all the exits around the room in case of mishap or emergency and now join us as we salute the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So there'll be some changes to the agenda tonight. Um, the initial agenda showed a continued public hearing for Camp Victory Lake. We discovered that that was, had been actually adjourned into January 18th, so it'll appear on that agenda. And under other business, the first item would be Bellafield Phase 2 subdivision. There is a meeting of various planning board members, non-quorum, Consultants and the applicants uh, started at two and ended at almost six. Uh, so they'll be back shortly in the next two weeks when we continue the public hearing. In the meantime, just as a quick synopsis, one of the discussion, one of the items of discussion, um, was that the finding statement requires that there be a voluntary donation of fifty thousand dollars made by the applicant to the REC uh, trust fund. And the question emerged tonight because there are, of course, no details in the original. DEI, FEIS, I should say, was should it be uh, requested now to pay $50,000 at one fell swoop, or should it be prorated based on the number of residential units in this uh, first phase? We roughly guesstimate that this is anywhere from a fifth to a fourth. If it's a fifth, then we could require them, because it's up to the planning board to charge 10000 for each phase, or not to charge, but to have them make that deposit, or we can also ask for the full amount at this point in time. You have to discuss it. We'll discuss that at the public hearing next week. But I just wanted to let everybody know um, if there are any other issues that we need to discuss, which I think there might be two, um, um, we I'll could, email it. We could also prorate it based on number of housing units. That's what I meant by the number of residential units, because this is about a fifth, a fifth to a fourth of what the total would be. That's all? I thought it was a much greater unit. That, that so phase two had the most units in it, housing. We're going to ask them to calculate because okay. we don't have a number of bedrooms. That's one of the things they're going to provide for us. Okay. There are several items. In addition, you have Ms. Moss's um, comments on the subdivision. She's determined that it's not complete yet, so we were waiting. Well, we are waiting to receive new information for them, and we should have that at the next meeting. So the next item on the agenda would be a site plan waiver, a request for by Raphael, Stephen Raphael, this is at 26 Curry Lane, and this is for solar panels being placed on the uh, south side of the main uh, building. A reminder that we just gave them a waiver for construction of a pool. <coughs> Anybody have any questions about this? No. 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 Vice Chair Dexter. Town of Hyde Park Planning Board, resolution number 2022-68. Whereas a request for site plan waiver has been made to the Town of Hyde Park Planning Board by Stephen Raphael for the installation of rooftop solar panels on the property associated with a single family home which requires a building permit. And whereas, 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 therefore be it resolved that the Town of Hyde Park Planning Board hereby waive site plan requirements for the proposed changes as described in the building permit received by the building department December 6, 2022, and per the waiver request to the planning board dated December 27, 2022. Second. Any further discussion? No. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. The next item on the agenda is another site plan waiver request. This is for Matthew Highland. This is at 26 Hershey Drive. These are also for roof mounted photovoltaic panels. This is also in the scenic area of statewide significance. It is not visible directly from the river or the two historic <coughs> sites. Anybody have any questions? No. no. Ms. Vice Chair Oliver, this is your resolution. Site plan waiver for Matthew Hillen. Resolution number 2022-69, whereas a request for site plan waiver has been made to the Town of Hyde Park Planning Board by Matthew Hillen for an installation of rooftop solar panels on the property associated with a single family home which requires a building permit and whereas, 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 whereas. Now therefore be it resolved that the Town of Hyde Park Planning Board hereby waives the site plan requirements for the proposed changes as described in the building permit received by the building department December 5th, 2022 and per the waiver request to the planning board dated December 22nd, 2022. Second. Thank you, John. Any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any nays or abstentions? Motion carries unanimously. The next item on the agenda would be an authorization to send the letter 
that we discussed last time, the request by uh, the Saki Brewery to lower their building permit renewal fees. I think I captured what you guys wanted. Mm -hmm. So we had yes. a chance to review the letter. Yes, yes thank you. Well yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to um, Ann Dexter for bringing up the issue of the precedent last time. Yes, because that's what guided me in the letter mm -hmm. itself. Um, in addition, as I noted, I recall that when we were going through fees, the building permit fees are not just the building department. They also cover Tad's work because she has to work through this. It's not just another, the application fees are for when we review, but fees are supposed to cover all municipal costs, and you still do work as well in inspecting to make sure everything's been done correctly to the site plan before a CO is, uh, is authorized, I believe. Yes? So at any rate, make it a motion to authorize us this to be sent over to the town board. I'll make that motion. Thank you. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. That motion carries. The next resolution I'll be introducing. This is the resolution designating plenty board vice chairpersons for the year 2023. This is resolution 23-A. <coughs> now be it resolved that Ann Dexter and Chris Oliver be designated the vice chairpersons of the planning board, authorized to conduct meetings of the planning board and to sign final plats, site plans, and related documents, including invoices and correspondence on behalf of the planning board in the absence of the chairperson. Second. Any further discussion? Except to say thank you to both of you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 That motion carries unanimously. The next item, which would have been a workshop presentation by the assistant Dutchess County Executive, Ron Hicks. Uh, the marketing firm was not able to provide the deck he wanted to provide to show up here tonight, so he asked for this to be adjourned for a bit or rescheduled, so I said that's fine, which leads us to asking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you, Town Board and Tony, for uh, wow. airing this and publicizing it, and we'll see you in two weeks. Six minutes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it's, we keep hitting it.